Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November Julian here for Off Grid Ham Radio. Today I've got something special for you. It's a sneak peek at something which I hope will be upcoming from Lab 599. It's called the TX500 Mike Papa. Mike Papa standing for Man Pack or Man Portable. Now, these images were posted on the Discovery TX500 page for Lab 599 on Instagram. So this is all the information I have. Still, we're going to take a moment to talk about it. Now let's go back and take a look at the original TX500. In some of my early blog posts and videos, I think I had two complaints. The main complaint was the fact that we had connectors on both sides. We had data on one side, power on one side, the microphone on one side. We have cat control on the other side, the antenna on the other side. All of these wires can be very frustrating for the data modes operator operating in the field. Now, in my opinion, a well-designed man portable radio should always keep those connectors to the rear of the radio or to one side of the radio or the other. Definitely not spread around both sides. Now, apparently, somebody's been paying attention and listening, or perhaps reading my blog posts, because what they've done with the Manpack version of the TX500 is consolidate all of those connectors to the top of the radio. This means the TX500 mic Papa can stand up on its base with all connections coming in from the top of the radio. This update on the Mike Papa version drastically improves the wire management over the original TX500. Now, so far, there's no word about the data connector, whether it's going to be wire compatible with the TX500. In any event, a reduction in the connectors and their placement is a brilliant update. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features. A Lab 599 starts off by saying the TX500 mic Papa represents a totally new concept of HF MAM portable transceiver. Its improved form factor supports multiple ways of carrying the radio and using it on the move. It says the new controls and connector layout allows using the transceiver directly from a backpack to rapidly get on the air while on the go. It has a detachable battery pack providing long duration and operational autonomy. It also has a built-in high-speed automatic antenna tuner. This sounds brilliant so far. The radio's frequency range is 0.5 MHz up to 56 MHz. The radio has a built-in automatic antenna tuner. The radio has an adjustable output power from 1 to 10 watts. The radio supports SSB, that's upper sideband and lower sideband, plus CW, digital modes, AM and FM. The radio includes a high-performance 32-bit floating-point IFDSP processor. The radio also has a high-contrast monochrome LCD display, which is daylight readable. Now, we talk a lot about efficiency on the channel, so this radio has a current consumption of up to 100 milliamps, on receive. That's absolutely brilliant. The rig also has 100 PC programmable memory locations if you want to set it up for channelized operation. Now the weight of the radio comes in at 600 grams or 1.32 pounds. That's not at all bad for a rugged radio. I don't know, guys. <laughs> it looks like we're taking another big step forward. What do you think about it? I think this is going to be an incredible radio. Now, to be fair, I've made a lot of speculations based on the original TX500. I really don't know what's going on with this radio. We have such little information, but I'm going to try to get one here for the shack. And uh, we're going to get that out portable and see what it's all about. An HF walkie-talkie. We haven't seen those in a couple of decades, guys. This is brilliant. All right, let me know what you think. Look, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, please let me know by leaving me a comment, a thumbs up, or even a super thanks to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching.
Ciao.